Hello and thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again and in today's video I will show you how you can create Google Groups to send and receive emails from these groups. Uh, if you're using Google Apps or G Suite, instead of buying new license for new email address where you can send and receive emails, it is suggested to use Google Groups so that you can save money and especially you can cover use cases where multiple people are supposed to receive emails which are sent to this these email addresses such as sales at your domain.com or info at your domain.com so for that uh, first assumption uh, is that you should be a Google Apps administrator because those permissions are required to go to admin console and create a Google group if you don't have permissions if you're not a administrator yet you can ask your super admin to give you delegated administration permissions so once I'm in my Gmail, uh, if I'm an administrator, I will see this manage this domain link. I'll click on that and I will be then landing to uh, Google Apps Admin Console. So once you're on Admin Console, you will see groups. And in case if you don't see that, you need to click on more controls and then it might be hiding here. What you need to do is just drag it up there and then it will be a part of these applications which you always see when you log into your admin console. I'm going to click on groups and if you see we have a lot of groups already there I'm going to click on this plus icon to create a new group. I'm going to name my group for example sales and let's call it uh, you know kind of uh, sales demo for a minute and then uh, we can give it our name so I'm just going to give it a name uh, and then you can put the description if you want so I'm gonna say it's a sales group now this access level as soon as you you know click on this uh, drop down uh, arrow you should be able to see the description behind uh, different kind of groups but in most of the cases if you you will be creating team groups so you can read the description so I'm gonna click on team and then because I want people should be able to send emails even from outside my domain so I want I will click on this also allow anyone on the internet to post messages and assuming that's one that's what you require and then I'm not gonna check this one but if you're creating groups like HR or announcements at your domain.com you would like to click on this so that all users uh, in your domain should be automatically added in this group I'm all done so I'm gonna click on create and once I'm done uh, it will give me a few options such as uh, creating a nickname uh, of this group so that sales demo uh, you know can have a nickname of demo or whatever and people can send emails on that so for now let's skip this access settings is you can define permissions like who can do what uh, so for example who can add members and who can uh, moderate the messages coming uh, to this group and so on uh, but for now uh, for the scope of this video we are going to concentrate on this one which says manage users in this uh, group so I'm going to click on this now you can add people uh, either inside or outside your domain as member of this group so so far I'm just gonna put uh, myself into this as a member or as an owner you can decide there are different permission levels and I'll see in case if I can add a link uh, below this video where you can check more about uh, the member and uh, owner privileges I'm gonna click on add and then I am added as a member of the group now ideally what should happen is when somebody sends an email to this group email address that email will be landing to mailboxes of all the members uh, which are here so here I'm, I'm the only one for now so now my group is created so let's see if I should be able to receive emails on this and then uh, we will configure sending functionality so that even my mailbox is this but I should be able to send emails via this email address okay so let me go to my other mailbox I'm gonna click on compose and our uh, sales demo at goldiorora.com test email and I'm gonna click on send now I've sent this email on uh, on our group ID and ideally it should be landing to 
my this mailbox as you see here uh, it it landed to my mailbox because I'm a member of that group so receiving is working fine now we need to work on the sending so we should be able to send from this group email address and for that I'll go to settings under settings I'll go to accounts and import and here we will go to send mail as because that's the feature which allows us to send emails from other email addresses that we own till the time we can provide uh, ownership verification of those email addresses and I'm gonna click on add another email address that I own I'm gonna put the group email address that was sales demo at cooldeal.com and I'm gonna uncheck this because I don't want it to be treated as an alias I'm not gonna cover much of uh, this functionality why did I recommend to uncheck this but you can click on learn more uh, to understand that for now you will click on next step and as you see Google says that okay if you wanna send from this email address that's okay but first you need to verify me that you own this email address and the verification process is as soon as I click on send verification Google will send an email with a unique code on this email address which I will need to just copy and come back here provide that code so I'm gonna say send verification because I know Google sent an email to this email address which is a group and who is a member of that group this email address so I'll go back to my mailbox and I really I should be getting that email oops not yet maybe I can just click on recent email come on Google I'm recording yep so it's coming here and I'm gonna copy this uh, this confirmation code I'll go back here paste the code and click on verify and it's verified so now when you go back to your settings just to check it up and if you see here it says that this is a verified ID and you can also define settings here so for example if someone sends you an email on this group ID and when you reply will that reply will be sent from this group email address by default or you want all the time it should be sent from your primary mailbox well I guess if someone is sending on this group email address there might be a purpose so if somebody is sending at sales at my domain dot com I want that replies should also be sent from that same email address so I'll just keep this one and then now when I go to my mailbox and click on compose if you see I'll see here a few email addresses including the one which is my group which is sales demo at goldeater.com so hope uh, that was helpful if you have any questions please feel free to put uh, in the comments below and I'll be happy to help thank you so much